what is going on, it's Ben again, and I kind of wanted to talk to you all about the state of PowerPC chips in 2016, well, late 2016 as a matter of fact. Now if you saw my last video, I installed Linux Mint 11 on a Power, I think it was a, yeah, a PowerBook G4, and it had a PowerPC G4 processor, and I kind of wanted to make a statement in that video that there was a way to kind of bring them back from the dead. Now, unfortunately, there's no argument, PowerPC is completely dead. Now, PowerPC processors were mostly used in, you know, the pre-2005 era. It was really pushing from Apple because they were using it in all their Macs, like the Power Mac G5 and G4 and G3, you know, and the iBooks. They were all using PowerPC processors. Nowadays, Macs only use Intel processors, and it's good to see why, you know, we've got 32-bit and 64-bit Macs, and it offers a whole range of possibilities. Everything nowadays requires an Intel processor from Apple. And you know, that's a little disappointing for us people with AMD processors. But the main point is that PowerPC is gone. Now there were obviously PowerPC versions of Linux and Mac, and you know, that's how I was able to find this Linux Mint version, because it was the, one of the most modern versions of Linux that supported PowerPC. But unfortunately, from what I know, there was no PowerPC version of Windows. And please, if you guys find a PowerPC version of Windows, please let me know in the comments so I can install it on my PowerBook G4 for you guys. So, yeah. I mean, it is pretty disappointing to see where PowerPC has completely fallen, and I've always wanted to see a Windows version of PowerPC. Now, I really, there isn't really much to say, but I did want to kind of tell you guys about the state of PowerPC as a chip. I mean, it's completely dead, but there are still ways to kind of bring back a machine that's running PowerPC. Unfortunately, I wish they had made a Windows version so that way, you know, there'd be, there you could use a .x file extension or other things, but for now, there seems to be no use for a PowerPC Mac unless you want it as a collectible or something. I mean, obviously, you can install the pre, I think, Leopard? Yeah, Leopard was the last OX, OS X version to use PowerPC. Now, before that, there was, you know, not really much else. So, unfortunately, it's without a doubt to say that PowerPC is dead, but if there was a Windows version, that'd be great. But if you guys find one, let me know. So, yeah, guys, that's the video. It's a little short, but I did want to tell you guys about the state of PowerPC in late 2016. If there is a PowerPC version of Windows, I will install it on my PowerBook G4. So, I'm going to start researching, and a video should be out if there is one. So that is pretty much it. I'm sorry for not uploading in two weeks, and we're closing in on 300 subscribers, so thanks a lot, guys. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, and thanks for watching. This has been Vasquez, signing out.